the humble spud can be grown just about anywhere, in the ground, in containers, or even in a cardboard box. With a little planning and careful storage, you could be enjoying garden-grown potatoes from early summer right the way through to winter. And you can maximise those harvests by planting more right now, but we will need to act fast. Potatoes are the ultimate garden-grown vegetable. Now, most are planted in spring to harvest any time from early right the way through to late summer. And you'll probably get the weightiest harvest from potatoes that are grown in the ground. But planting spuds in tubs, pots, or improvised containers like this cardboard box here means you can grow them on, say, a sheltered patio or even in a greenhouse to get an extra early or a cheeky later crop. I don't have loads of space for potatoes in my garden, so um, there won't be that many to store over winter. So with that in mind, I've decided to replant now with what are called second cropping potatoes. I've got myself some second cropping sea potatoes here. Now at this time of year, things grow super rapidly, so these sea potatoes, they won't need sprouting or chitting at all. You can just get them straight in the ground pronto. And here are the seed potatoes, and it looks like some of these have good uh, sprouts on them already, so they really will be itching to get away. Some of these will be held back in cold storage, but you can also save your own seed potatoes from earlier on in spring by just keeping them in a cool room in the house, perhaps in a windowsill that doesn't get any direct sunshine, just to keep them ticking over. Because the growing season is well advanced now, it's best to go for early season or first early potatoes, because these are quickest off the mark and soonest to reach harvest point. A lot of these will have names that allude to their rapid growth. Names like Rocket, Swift, Sharps Express, these guys don't hang around. Other varieties you could look for include uh, Yukon Gold, Norland, Charlotte, or perhaps Nicola. You can grow your second cropping potatoes both outside, in the soil, and of course in pots and tubs. And I'm going to be doing both. So these are going into a recently cleared bed and I've just added a little bit of uh, well-rotted manure to really give these potatoes a bit of a boost. If you can, pick an area that is relatively free of slugs because at this time of year, potatoes can get rather nibbled by them. So just give yourself a bit of a fighting chance. So the seed potatoes are going in roughly 18 inches or 45 centimetres apart in both directions. By planting them this late in the summer, I am banking on there being at least 90 days worth of frost-free weather because potatoes obviously cannot tolerate frosty weather. So it's a bit of a gamble, but in a normal year, that will certainly pay off. And last year it really did. And I got some beautiful potatoes to uh, harvest just as the weather turned frosty. If it does get a bit cold, then you can always uh, protect your potatoes with a little bit of fleecy row cover just to keep them tucked up and a little bit more cozy. Now once these are all planted there really won't be much else to do other than to keep the area weed free initially and then keep things watered in dry weather. Uh, it's pretty moist at the moment so I won't have to do water them in this time but uh, keep them well watered to keep them growing well and then as the uh, autumn progresses, you probably won't even have to do that. And then it'll just be a question of counting down the days to a uh, lift update. Alternatively, plant your seed potatoes into a potato sack or a good sized container like this one here. This is about two gallons or eight liters in size. That way you can start them off outdoors and then move them into somewhere a little more protected when the weather does turn cooler. I'll be showing you how to plant something like this shortly, but first, let's just take another look at those cardboard box potatoes. Cardboard boxes make a really handy and free alternative to the usual container. Now you will need to make sure they are of course quite sturdy, or you could perhaps push one close fitting box inside another for extra rigidity. Planting this cardboard box up was very simple. I added a two inch or five centimeter layer of garden compost mixed with potting mix into the bottom, popped my seed potatoes on top, 
and then covered them over till the box was about half full. And then when the shoot showed through and grew on a bit, I then topped it up all the way to the top to grow on. Once the box is full, it's going to get really soft and soggy from all that watering. And potatoes, well, they really do need a lot of water, especially when it's warm, to fuel all of this incredible Rapunzel-like growth and, of course, those tubers. But I reckon if you can then set up your potatoes and leave them be, then this is a really good way to grow them because of course at the end of the season you can just tear up or pull apart the cardboard and then dump that onto the compost heap and there's nothing, nothing wasted here at all. The variety that I'm growing here is called pink fir apple and it takes at least around three months to develop those tubers. Now it was only about two months ago that I planted it so I suspect that they won't be fully ready yet but if I have a little root around Ah, oh, there we go, a tiny potato. So they are developing, but they've still got a little way to go. So let's give this all a little bit of a drink because it is a bit dry and uh, we'll leave it for a few more weeks. Now let's get on and plant the rest of those second cropping potatoes into some containers. And for this, I'm using a 50-50 mix of garden compost and then just regular peat-free potting mix. And the reason for that is it just saves a bit of money and ekes out the cost of that potting mix. And of course, the richness from the garden compost is gonna do our potatoes a world of good. And I'm also just gonna add a couple of handfuls of an organic balanced fertilizer. This is just blood, fish, and bone. So on some of that goes. I guess you could use chicken manure pellets or comfrey pellets if you're trying to do uh, vegan gardening there. So mix it all up. And what I'm using here is exactly the same mix that I use for those uh, cardboard box potatoes. This is really gonna supercharge potatoes growth and help power things along to get them growing even quicker and more vigorously. You could use a sieve or screen to get rid of some of these twiggy bits, but to be honest, just pick out the worst of them and it should be fine. And this time I'm just gonna fill my containers right the way to the top. Usually you hill or earth up your potatoes in stages, but at this time of year, because growth is so rapid, there's simply no need to do that. They'll soon find their way right to the top, no problem. And now it's in with these seed potatoes. Now you can see we've got two different sizes of containers here. So for something like this, I'm gonna pop in two seed potatoes and then for the smaller one, just one. And it's a question of burrowing down and popping in the seed potatoes about halfway down into the container like for that. There we are. And then the same with our smaller container, one this time in the middle just over halfway down and back over like that. Uh, now all that will be needed for these is just to give them a good water to set them on their way. And then they should be ready to harvest any time from early to kind of late autumn, probably more like late autumn. And if I'm lucky, I should be able to keep a few of the containers over right the way to sort of Christmas time for a festive crop of homegrown spuds. Now you'll need to keep these free from frost, of course. So any that you're holding over to harvest a bit later, you can insulate the pot with something like uh, bubble wrap or um, bubble plastic, or you could just move them under cover into say a sheltered outbuilding just to keep them frost free. Cut back the old foliage and then simply upturn them as and when you need your potatoes. If you decide to grow second cropping spuds, then let me know how you get on in the comments below. In the meantime, for more potato growing tips, check out this video. I'll catch you next time.